A new breed of machines can create objects, not quite out of thin air, but close. It's almost like a little, think of like a little tube of toothpaste that as it squeezes out this, like a molten plastic that as it finishes, it hardens the plastic and then it goes on to the next layer and it builds that up layer by layer by layer. These are 3D printers. They use thin layers of plastic, powder, even metal to translate digital designs into physical objects. Companies like Autodesk make the design software which drives these printers. I just go into the menu and I say print and rather than sending it to a 2D printer, I send it to a 3D printer, and what comes out of it is this. So rather than the piece of paper that would have an image of it, here's the actual thing that comes out of the 3D printer. Freely moving parts are possible because the machines can lay down a second material, which supports the object during printing, but is dissolved away afterwards. All of these objects were printed in one go, no assembly required. 3D printing has been used for years in manufacturing to quickly and cheaply create prototypes before mass production. But 3D printers are changing. The machines are evolving. The first thing is they're coming down in price, where they used to be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. The cheapest one I've seen that's about to come to market is closer to a $5,000 price point. And the price of the material is also coming down as well. Cheaper 3D printing? is opening up whole new lines of business. Instead of making one product a million times over, well now you can make one product for one person. Scott Summit, Chief Technology Officer of Bespoke Innovations in San Francisco, uses 3D printing to create prosthetic limbs. What we're doing is using the person's own body to drive the design of what will create the prosthetic. It will scan the sound side leg, the remaining leg, mirror it over, which takes a fraction of a second on a computer, and then use that as reference geometry when we're creating the components of their prosthesis. This is a leg that is entirely printed as is, comes out of the machine ready to go. We've given it a very complex knee that would be prohibitively expensive otherwise, uh, a foot that flexes pretty much like a real foot does. But Mr. Summit is betting that 3D printing's personalized aesthetics will be as important as its technical precision. A current prosthetic is an amazing piece of engineering and, and research, but it's half the equation. A person is about form and shape and beauty and sensuality. That won't be reached by an assemblage of off-the-shelf mechanical parts. This one was three-dimensionally printed like the others, but a few more processes take place after that. Leather can be wrapped around it. It can be metal plated. This is a prosthetic. It's just saying that a prosthetic can be a really beautiful thing and not simply a mechanical solution.